I grew up in the poorest county in Minnesota, eight miles from the nearest town of 500 people, on a bean farm. I'll never forget the first time I saw the economic value of trust. Driving home from town where I went to school to, to Verndale, I, from, from town to, my, to the farm, family farm. Halfway home, at the end of his long dirt driveway, Mr. Olson's veggie stand. But nobody worked the stand. In fact, next to the beautiful broccoli and berries and <sighs> pumpkins and whatever, depending on the time of year it was, Minnesota raspberries, there's a box with cash bills sticking out of it. What are you supposed to do at Mr. Olson's stand? Make your own change, pay what you owe. We call this system the honor system or trust system. And where you can create it, you've created the greatest efficiency you can possibly create. He saves time because he doesn't have to have any, uh, he doesn't have to put on the latex gloves like the city stands where you touch the then take off latex gloves, count the money, and put on the latex gloves and touch the veggies and then take it. Right? Plus he saves money because he didn't have to employ anybody. Plus he has loyal customers, they come from around the county because it's built on trust. This does not mean I believe you should trust everyone. Even Mr. Olson no longer runs his stand like this. All this shows is where you can create it with someone, with each other. You created the greatest efficiency you can possibly create in business and life. If you like that, subscribe to our YouTube channel or go to trustedge.com for more free resources and tools.